Nash and Proper, they're known for delicious hot fried chicken in the 916. They are also the winners of the 2019 Calling All Dreamers competition that encourages entrepreneurs to compete for the chance to open a downtown storefront. And here to tell us more, we have them, Nash and Proper themselves, the co-owners, Cecil Rhodes, along with Valerie Moat. And um, you are, or not Valerie, with Emily Penrod. She is with the Downtown Sacramento Partnership. And we also have our other co-owner of Nash and Proper. So Nash and Proper, Downtown uh, Sac Association. First of all, tell us, um, Cecil, what inspired you guys to start your own business? Well, uh, we saw a vacancy of like chicken, like uh, handmade, breaded, you know, non fast food chicken in the area, and we wanted to create something unique to Sacramento. So we started Nash and Proper in 2018. Um, you know, me and Jake uh, came up with the recipe and put our own little spin on yeah, Nashville hot chicken. Yeah, it's been pretty successful. A little bit. I, I hear you guys are popular <laughs> around town. Uh, now, Emily. Um, they were brought into the dreamer competition so tell uh -huh. me about how that worked so basically the dreamers competition like you said it's for entrepreneurs who have this huge dream to have their own storefront in downtown sacramento they obviously only they already had their food trucks and mm -hmm. they wanted to have their own storefront so they applied and they went through the entire mm -hmm. process we have a board of directors who basically extensively look at all the competitors and decide really if they're worth having their own storefront, if their business plan is strong enough, oh. and they get to the next stages. Yeah, what was it like when you entered? I mean, did you think like, we're gonna win this, or what was the process like? Yeah, at first we were like, oh yeah, you know, we're a shoe in but then the process started and the business what plan. What did you have to and, do? Uh, we had to come up with a business plan. Um, the downtown partnership gave us a mentor through SCORE, uh, score mm -hmm. and we worked with him, and then we went into like a Shark Tank type of atmosphere oh, and wow. pitched to them. And they, uh, we didn't do too well, but we got, <laughs> but we got some the great feedback. The chicken feed kept you through. Yeah, but we got some good feedback, and you know, went to the um, the final board, and you know, uh, took everything they told us in that first one into consideration, and you know, came out on top. And here you are. So this opportunity, this competition, is giving you the opportunity to have a brick and mortar storefront. Yes. Um, how exciting is that? It's very exciting because, you know, being a chef in Sacramento for so long and working for other people and now we have the opportunity to do it ourselves and do it our way and what we want to do and plus Sacramento has given us the opportunity to give them this fried chicken and they stand in line for hours. Okay, and so you said fried chicken. <laughs> Let's get right to the yes, chicken. Yes, yes, yes. So what is it about your chicken that makes it unique, that people love, that they, you know, they're lining up? for this yes. stuff and you guys probably run out sometimes and no we never yeah, run you out, never run out. <laughs> okay, so, Keep um, standing but tell me about the hot chicken uh so right here we have our tenders um this is our jumbo wings and this is our our sandwich this is like 80 percent of our sales right here people stand in line uh they love the crunch they love you know they could pick their spice levels um our fries are really big we have house made potato salad we got our you know pickles and all but, of our but sauces what is it about you guys it's different from going anywhere else for fried chicken or hot chicken it's just the love you know we put a lot of love in our product yeah we said know? it was nashville inspired right? yes and sacramento made because uh you know it's it's inspired by nashville but me or jake not being from nashville we're just trying to put our own spin just inspiration, on something that's, inspiration. Yes, inspiration yes. what really set them apart emily um, you know, I don't make that deciding factor, but they had, like he said, there's just so much love, so much passion mm -hmm. for this entire project. They had the food trucks already. They had a pretty good, strong business plan, mm -hmm. and that stood out to us as Great. a whole. And our whole team is so excited for them. It's, that it's is awesome. exciting. So yeah. you're going to do this again next year, mm -hmm. the, the Dreamers competition. Yes. So someone's out there and they're thinking about it, like, hey, maybe it's my shot. What, mm -hmm. what can you tell them? So we're tentatively looking at spring 2020 to open up applications. Okay. If you're an entrepreneur, you have a dream, you want to have a storefront, and you don't know where you're waiting for the sign. This is your sign. Do it. Push yourself, and you know we'd love to see what you have. And what is that prize again? It's the storefront. So basically, it's pretty big. So it's valued up to one hundred thousand dollars with ten thousand dollars in matching funds. That includes marketing, advertising, financial services, and really finding a location for your storefront. So you get a lot out of that. Awesome. Well, congratulations and best of luck to you guys. You know, I'm a mild, so I don't know how much your hot fried chicken I can take. But thank you for being here. Maybe I'll take a taste in the break because I might need some water so yeah, to follow that up. For sure. Thanks for being here, guys. All right. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.